Digital Lives Matter is this amazing movie starring this amazing cast of characters that is going to be introduced to the world uh, through this movie. And I'm so excited to be able to have directed them and produced this project through our Nina Holiday Entertainment. Um, it's, it's the new Friday. Come on, y'all. Let's get this damn selfie. You guys, I really don't think we should be in here. We don't want them bus us in. Oh, they waiting on us. Come on in, get up. you right now. Shit. When I say they delivered and they were hilarious and they they gave you or they gave me um, everything that I asked of them. We have an amazing story that is put together that's not just funny, but it's it's a responsible story. It has a message. Um, with social media being so, um, just so massive in our lives right now and so important in the lives of young people um, to attack a subject to where the social media star has all this influence. Um, he's made a star because people have decided to follow him. Um, and now it's like, what do, what do you do when you have all that influence? What do you do when you have all these people following you? And what if you wake up one day and nobody's following you anymore? What does that do to you? And how far are you willing to go? And what are you willing to do for people to get them to follow you back? Um, so we see DC Youngfly go through this journey of getting his followers back and realizing through the process that digital lives matter, that there are people behind that follow button. There are people who have feelings, there are people who, um, who start to care about you, and you have to be responsible and care about what you're saying to them and care, caring about what you um, post. Brandy, oh, I forget something. about you, I was there. Let me tell you something, you listen to me good. You need to make time for the special people in your life. Granny, I do. Oh, oh, turn me loose. Granny, you need to touch make time me. to put on a bra. Touch me. Go on loose in there. Just go on. I feel really, really fortunate and blessed to have had the opportunity for this to be my first directing debut. Um, and they made it easy for me. They made it easy. It was a godsend. There's a scene in the cupcake shop with the shift leader character and DC are going at it. And <laughs> there was a scene that we could not get through because DC could not stop laughing at the actor Nav Green who played shift leader. He could not stop laughing at him. She's sad, man. So you tell me you don't want up in cupcake business? I thought you was the king of birds. <laughs> Long as I'm the king, that's all that matters. <laughs> Waiting to pour acid on your ass again. You knew. <laughs> I thought he had. I thought he had stopped. I thought he had stopped. I was like, DC, you gotta hold it together, brother. We gotta get out of this scene. This is an independent movie project. We don't. We can't afford to keep doing this scene over and over again. Um, so it took probably a good eight takes before we could get it because only because DC kept laughing because it was so funny. Um, the difference uh, working on this project as a director and a producer as opposed to working on the project just as an actor, um, just the responsibility. It's like I felt like everybody, I was responsible for everybody. I'm responsible for making everybody look good. Um, because if you look good and you're shining and you give the best performance, then the whole movie overall is gonna be good. So I, I, I just felt a strong responsibility like the mother hen to make sure everybody looked good. And I really wasn't interested in, in being easy or being nice because it was a lot of their first time. And it was like, yeah, I get it, but we gotta make this hot. Oh, I love that we were able to shoot this movie completely in Atlanta, starring all Atlanta talent. Um, all the crew was Atlanta based. I think it's really important for Atlanta right now to stand up to the plate to show that 
they're on the same level as the rest of the crew and talent are in LA or New York. It's important that people know that they can actually come shoot here and hire people here um, instead of bringing in crew and talent always from Hollywood or from New York. Um, so I'm happy to be a part of that movement of showing that Atlanta has you know, just as much talent in front and behind the camera as anywhere else. So I, I love, I love that we are Atlanta based. Independent films are extremely important because it, it allows artists to put out product um, with talent that they believe in. And when you go through the studio films and, and stuff like that, it's not always the person that you want in the position, it's the person that the studio thinks gonna sell the most tickets which, you know, and everything is a money's game, which is great, but as a independent artist, it's like, for me, there's, there's so many artists that are funny and deserve the opportunity, and a lot of times they go unseen. They go unseen, they go unnoticed, and um, I love making independent films because I get to choose who gets to be seen. Um, and just being able to have that power and that control of who I want to work with, um, what I want to do, what can I think of next that I want to do. Um, the independent film route allows me to be able to do that. And where the big Hollywood studio films, it's like they're not knocking on my door. So I create my own door. Uh, we were excited to team up with Archive Nation because they have some talented people under their management. Um, and when uh, Cass and Anwar talk, talked about the story that we wanted to tell, um, it kind of just all came together and flowed. And um, Cass wrote an amazing script based on that story. Um, and we are lucky to be able to have teamed up with them because we got to work with some, um, some of their amazing talent that are going to be huge stars um, after this movie. They're going to be stars already now. I mean, they're going to be a star anyway, but now they're really going to be a star faster as soon as this movie comes out. What? Just wait. Wait for it. <laughs> stars. <laughs> they are. I'm so excited for them. Don't ask, just tell. That's the name of the game. You don't have to ask permission to tell your story. All you have to do is just tell your story. Digital lives matter. Go see it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna laugh. I promise. I put my money on it. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs>